What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's Chris from Dolo, and Chris P44S is my other gaming channel. If you're into other games, you can check it out there. I have tons of stuff, and I am in the process of making more stuff. Um, so right now, we've been playing the Eldrain Courtside Brawl, which is the new throne of Eldrain cards, fresh to MTG Arena. And we've just been checking out all the decks. Uh... We've played Savage Hunter, Wild Bounty, and Fairy Schemes, and now we're going to play Knight's Charge. I actually did, this was the first uh, one that I played, and uh, it was the first one I played really quick, and I was like kind of fresh to, to the format and playing. I've never actually played Brawl before. It's definitely really cool. I have played Commander a couple times. Uh, it's a little bit different. What's nice in this is that we do get a free mulligan. But I think we're just going to keep our cards because we do have some early stuff and hopefully we can um, draw into some more mana for sure. That would be nice. But I don't want to mulligan into uh, high cost cards and mana. So this is kind of nice because we have the Shield Breaker, Inspiring Veteran, and the Sky Knight Legionnaire. <clears throat> Oh, and he's also playing the same deck, so that's kind of good. Um, and we will just go ahead with our one drop. I'm potentially going to end up just nuking Knight of Ebon Legion, depending on what happens on turn three. Because I imagine they could just go for the boost. Uh, the one thing that we have to be careful of is actually Sir Gwyn can equip stuff two knights without paying their mana cost. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we have our slow land out already, and we're going to go with Tournament Grounds, which comes in untapped, and we can use it to cast knights or equipment, and we think we, I think I only have one creature in this that, so this is definitely, oops, I uh, we could play the Death Touch, but we might want to draw a card later. So, but we want something that can stop this guy. So I think... <clears throat> I think we'll just play this and... Oh no, I don't want to play that. We'll just play our Inspiring Knight Veteran. We're probably not going to let him hit us. Because obviously if we block, he's going to go for the pump. But if not, he may not go for the pump. Inspiring Veteran is a really nice card to have early in. Because it gives all our other knights plus one, plus one. And like I said, pretty much all our creatures in our deck are knights. We do have the one soldier. Uh, I forget what his name is. He's a 3-2 with haste and mentor. Yeah, so he's just going to boost right off the jump, which is fine. We'll take the damage. Um, but if he pumps again, I was just thinking, oh, we could play the Marauding Axe, but... Oh, you know what we should do is just destroy that artifact. <clears throat> or he could play Omnixus' Cruelty. Which I think is what we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and get two in. We're probably going to destroy the... Um, uh, hammer. I just played this with the fairy... Uh, deck, and I did really well. I kind of made a mistake where I should have turned their... Um, I definitely should have turned... I had the opportunity to turn their Planeswalker into a frog, but I didn't do it. So we'll definitely take that, and then I think we can just go ahead and destroy that artifact and play <clears throat> play that next turn. And I'm gonna hold. I'm just gonna hold back here because we don't really need to do anything just yet. I know that there is one combat trick in this format or in this uh, in these decks between the two of us, 
Am I on? I'm on. I'm so on, baby. <laughs> and potentially, if we don't draw land next turn... Um, we can draw the life, lose a card, and then play our death touch. But we did. So, I think that's still what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a card and lose a life. And then play... Fortune, or Foul Mire Knight, which is a 1-1 one, one with that touch, <clears throat> but now becomes a 2-2, two, two. and I don't really want to attack, because if I do attack, then I'll be forced to trade next turn, and I don't really want to trade. They probably don't, uh, they probably don't want to trade either, but <clears throat> he missed a land drop the last turn, so next turn I will be able to play... Sir Gwyn. My only problem is that I don't have any equipment right now. Which kind of sucks, but I can play the Mask of Immolation because of his equipment and put it on somebody. But right now, I mean, he's kind of stuck just dealing with what's on the table, so... <clears throat> really didn't have a chance to play equipment yet because we had to stabilize the board. <clears throat> but the one thing is if he misses another land drop I think we're pretty good here the one thing you do have to be careful of too is that when you play Sir Gwyn and you attack with the equipped creatures is you draw a card and lose a life which you have to be kind of aware of So I think here he probably has that combat trick. Or he's just trying to trade off with someone. And I'm just going to go with no blocks again. I'm hoping we can get... I know we have some life gain things going on. Oh, I don't want to play that. I want to play this. And then I want to play my commander he should be pretty familiar with it since he has the same commander <clears throat> and now I'm just going to go in for three the same thing is probably going to happen though he's probably going to come at us with Bella the Brawl hopefully he didn't get any mana because we would definitely like to equip next turn. Uh, and we would be equipping this guy, Knight Legionnaire. I think now it's okay to trade with our Foulmire Knight. I don't, I mean, there's a decent chance that he doesn't have one. But we could just play Sir Gwyn and Foulmire Knight and hope he doesn't have a trick. He has something that targets someone, which is kind of scary. That looks like he's passing turn, so... <clears throat> I'm completely fine with that. So let's just play <clears throat> our Marauding X, Marauder's X. And then we can equip Knight for zero. And then we'll start kind of racing I guess losing life and <clears throat> so we can play 
Oh, we can't play Mask of Immolation because we don't have enough red sources. We can get this on to kind of pseudo chump block Bella Brawl if he decides to attack with it. We can just put this to somebody else. That's not a knight. We'll just put it on our guy for fun. <laughs> and then we could just sack <laughs> their immolation knight just for fun. But we could just end turn. Because that might be relevant at some point. I don't think the Mask of Immolation actually gives... Yeah, it doesn't give any pluses. It just allows you to sacrifice someone. Yeah, so this that would be the ideal play for him. We take one from Corpse Knight. It's really good that we got rid of that hammer. Yeah, so he's gonna go for to draw cards. And his mana's tapped out, so we can just block here. I'm going to block with my knight. Just because if I do, he can just re-equip the mask to another knight. But then he would have to sack it though too. So it's kind of like... I don't know if he actually wants to do that. If he's interested in doing that at this point. <clears throat> yeah, him having that is pretty good. But... Yeah, so this is definitely the card that we wanted. Problem is, um, oh, let's cancel that. So let's play our knight first. <clears throat> and then we will play the sorcery, adventure, curry favor, gain X life, and opponent loses X life for each night we control. I think this will be five, but it could be. S yeah. Yeah, because he's not actually casting himself. The thing I like about this is that it has lifelink, which is definitely something I want. And so we'll put this back over. We'll put the Marauder's X back on Sky at Legionnaire. <clears throat> Swing in. And then pretty much, if he doesn't have an answer for us, we're going to win next turn. <clears throat> Sorry, I have something in my throat. I don't know what the heck it is. And then... I mean, the one problem, too, is that we have the Foulmire Knight, which can just block anything and kill it if he tries to come in. We'll just put this on the Smitten Sword. Because basically, if it attacks, it's going to uh, even itself out, having the life gain. Yeah, so he's going to need more than one life, and hopefully he doesn't have the same thing. He doesn't have the same uh, sword, the Smitten Swordmaster. He might just be dumping his hand here. Uh, toughness. Yeah, that's really nice. 
to give something else indestructible, but last card. If he goes to search, we're already in. We've already won. Yeah, so that's the big thing with this deck is you have like this big knight synergy going on and you have a lot of uh, equipments and stuff for your knights and you get paid off for that. That's why the Colossus Hammer is in this because you can just cast it for nothing. Him doing that basically means he's done. Because uh, I, I don't know what, <clears throat> what kind of things you would try to do here. Yeah, I was going to say, he kind of has to go for an attack. So basically, we're just going to block like this. Then we can block this guy here. And we can, I mean, he's tapped out so we can take four damage. It's not going to be a problem. Some of these guys have first strike and stuff, so you have to be careful. Because I like, <clears throat> there's just so many good cards in here. And when I first played, I was like completely overwhelmed. And I definitely equipped some, or put some stuff on my guy that I really didn't need to. <clears throat> yeah, so he scooped. Yeah, so that's the big thing with this, but I've kind of found that, like, the Knights deck doesn't... That really depends on how you draw. I think all the decks are really good. It just seemed like some of the other decks were a little bit better. I think, right now, my favorite deck out of all of them... Uh, Savage Hunter was pretty dope because it has infinite loops. I think Fairy Schemes is the best one, just because it seems like it has the most removal in it, which is really nice, and then kind of having answers for your, the commander... I mean, the Wild Bounty was good, too. Uh, the game that I played, I think the guy exiled his commander on accident because he wasn't really familiar with what the heck was going on. But I think the Fairy Schemes has, like, one of the best commander removal cards because you can turn their commander into a frog. So, I mean, like, you can just straight up enchant it, and it makes it 1-1. One, one. The one thing that I didn't notice, though, even if you have, like, something turned into a frog... If something else has mentor, it can still add on onto them. So uh, that's kind of the deal with uh, Eldrains, Throne of Eldrains right now. Uh, all the decks seem really cool. All the cards seem really cool. And so I'm really excited to <clears throat> continue playing. And I can't wait to play Limited with Throne of Eldrain, which is something that I really enjoy doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watched all of them, or at least just this one, and made it to the end, just type hashtag can't wait and I'll catch you guys in the next video.